Hey everyone, it's Helena here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you how you can use ChatGPT to start writing your project charters and you can get your project charter done within a matter of minutes. So it's a super powerful tool that uses AI and ChatGPT has already been trained on all of the available information that's on the web, which is amazing. So not only does it know all of the best practices from other projects, it also knows the best structures to use and and what to write on your project. Now, in order to get the most out of this tool, you need to write great prompts. And this is a process called prompt engineering. So the better the instructions you can give ChatGPT, the better the results that you will give. Um, you can think of ChatGPT as your own personal assistant. So if you give your assistant more detailed information as to what you want them to do, you're gonna get better results from them versus if you give them a rough and vague instructions. So it's not in Enough to just tell ChatGPT, I want to write a project charter for my project and it's about blah. But if you can be more specific and give it a specific template, specific style that you wanted to use, you're going to get much better results. And that's what I want to teach you today. The role that I gave ChatGPT here is that you are an exceptional project manager. The task right here is that you're tasked with writing a project charter. The project charter defines the reason why the project has to start. And if you're studying for your PMP exam, you will know that a project cannot start unless it has the project charter, which formally uh, authorizes the existence of the project and assigns the project manager and allows the project manager to apply the organization's resources to the project. Now, here are the components of the project charter. First, we have the project purpose. This is the reason why the project has to be undertaken. So is it to, is it a legal reason? Is it to become product, product, more productive? Is it to save money? Is it to raise revenue? That would be the project purpose. Next, we have the high level project description, which is a summary description of the project. Next, we have the boundaries. This essentially tells you what's included in the project, what's within the scope, and more importantly, what's not going to be in the scope. It's really important that you define this up front so that you don't experience scope creep down the road. Next, we have the key deliverables. This is basically the main deliverables that your project and your product will have, and it will be further elaborated in your project scope statement, which you will create after the project charter has been signed. The next level is your high level requirements. This is basically the uh, top level of your WBS or work breakdown structure. This will describe the main features that will be included in your project. Next, we have some high level risk. This is an initial brainstorm of what could go wrong with your project. So you could include risk from political, social, economical, uh, and technological factors. And it's important that you understand the risk upfront so that you know what you're dealing with uh, throughout your project. And risk management is definitely not something that you can skip throughout your project. The next component of your project charter is the project objectives and related success criteria. So this basically defines what success looks like for your project. What are the KPIs that needs to be met? And how do you measure uh, project success? Is it that we raised our revenue? Is it that our, our customers are more engaged, etc. The next area is a summary milestone schedule. So a milestone is an event in your project that has zero duration. And the reason you have the schedule is because it tells you when significant events on your project is hit. This is important, especially when you have a longer term project and you don't just want your milestone to be at the end when the project is finished. There may be checkpoints in between that represent significant, uh, significant turning points in your project as well. And those are called milestones. The next section is your pre-approved financial resources. This is the people that, um, are going to be working on your project, the key stakeholder list. This is the list of high, high level people that's going to influence the success of your project. And then lastly, you have the project exit criteria. The exit criteria represents the performance metrics, conditions, or other measurements that must be met to conclude the project. And then lastly here, 
you can put in some information about your project. I have pre-written this and here is where you fill in uh, all the information about your project. You can be as detailed as you want to be. So the project that we're currently going to write the project charter for is the project is to build an AI chatbot for an e-commerce company that sells nutritional product products. The chatbot will allow their website visitors to get support and product recommendations 24 seven, 365. All right, so this is our entire prompt here. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Then I'm going to go over to ChatGPT and then I'm going to paste in this prompt. And now we can see what it has written for us. So you can see within a matter of seconds, we have our completed project charter. Uh, so the project charter is to build the AI chatbot. We have the purpose right over here. Then the description, uh, the boundaries, what's in scope with what's out of scope, what the key deliverables here will be, the high level requirements, some project risk, and then, and the objective, summary, summary milestones, etc. So you can see it followed our structure to a T and then you can just copy and paste this result and modify it to suit your specific project. But using ChatGPT will just save you so much time because it gets that initial draft done for you so that you don't have to spend hours and hours of your time writing all of these documentation. And you can focus more of your time on the strategic elements of project management. If your PMO has a different structure for the um, for the project charter, all you need to do is go in here and modify this prompt, and then you will get a custom prompt to write project charter for your organization. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you got a lot of value out of this tutorial. Please make sure you like and subscribe below, and I will see you soon.